Hey planner babes, it's Mandy from Create with Mandy and today I'm going to be planning in my mini horizontal happy planner. This is what I use for my business and I love to use stickers from my own shop. So how fitting is that? Um, I usually try to do every week um, with stickers from my shop, but sometimes um, I don't, but hey. So this week I picked out stationery because this is one of my newer ones that came out um, a few weeks ago. I haven't gotten the chance to use it in any of my spreads yet, so I'm really excited. Um, this was so fun. I love um, all the little, you know, desk things that you might find. Scissors, washi tape, stickers, you know, all the things. And um, the color palette is really fun too. I think it's like soft and a little bit of spring in there too, like just the colors. And so cute. So I will have this link down below and I also have a little coupon code for you guys watching this video, just you guys. So only people who watch this video will have that code down below. Um, so yeah, you can go grab this one at a discount. And so I'm going to pair it with Cool To Be Kind because I think there's a lot of similar like soft colors in here, especially like these guys in the back. Um, I love these circle stickers and like look how look how nicely that matches which is so unintentional but like how perfect because what I do is I'll pick you know what my I want my main focus to be and then I'll go through all my sticker books and kind of think about what has some similar colors or you know what might look nice and I thought oh yeah cool to be kind has like some of these colors and then I found these and I was like oh my gosh and these are already some of my favorites I love a good circle sticker and that ombre is really pretty some of the other things in this book are a little bright some of the other colors so um you know not everything matches but at least there's some good stuff like this is that same like ombre pattern so um, yeah, like, like these are a little bright, I think, compared to the sticker sheet, so I'll, you know, probably not use those, but anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take the pages out because that always makes it a little bit easier. And now we're just all flat on the table. So let me think about what I want to do first. Um, thinking gotta have some boxes here because that's where I want to write some stuff and thinking that I want to like layer this over top of boxes so maybe I want to do boxes first so I feel like also in this book is one of my most used pages which is also like little art supplies there was like paint palettes and paint brushes um there's also some of the same elements but um, that was kind of like an inspiration for this sheet because I love that type of sticker, like little doodle, like little desk items that are so fun to use. So definitely love them. So let's go ahead and start with one of these since I raved about that one, this box. So where shall we put it? And I know in January I planned to spread with this sticker book and I use one of these in my mini. So I hope that this spread doesn't look you know, like too similar or whatever. So let's go ahead and go on Friday because something is happening this Friday. I'm gonna go ahead and wait until Monday to let you guys know what's happening, but I'm sure you guys uh, can make your guesses and I'm sure a lot of you will be right about your guess, but just in case anything falls through, we'll wait until Monday, but there you go, Friday the 9th, something's happening. All right, so now there's this cute washi strip that obviously coordinates. So let's go ahead and put that somewhere too. I think I'm just gonna put it along across the bottom here of Tuesday, just for a pop of color. Now let's go find some more boxes to use. Um, I'm wondering if I should use that one. The blue matches, so let's go ahead and just do it. Go ahead and put it down here. Let's push it up a little bit more so it's more on Wednesday. Okay, there we go. Maybe like two more boxes. The mini planner is pretty mini, so can't use too, too many stickers without it filling up really fast. 
Let's go ahead and put this one on Monday. And then maybe one more box. Maybe one of these. Let's grab this yellow one. I think that goes pretty well. So where should we put it? Hmm. I'm trying to think about, you know, where I might use a box and where it also looks good because it's kind of got this dark border. Hmm. Could layer it on top of here. We've got dark and dark and dark. This is pretty light, so Hmm, just trying to balance. Let's just put it over here on Sunday. Let's just bring it up a little bit onto Saturday just because. Okay, now it might be a good time to start putting in some of these guys. So, I love the ruler. So cute. Thinking... Last week I did a strip down here at the bottom, so I feel like maybe I don't want to do that this week. That'd be really cute, but it takes up a lot of room on Friday. Maybe let's do it on this side. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And it's the perfect um, length. Kind of overlaps that top line and overlaps the box a little bit. Perfect, okay. Next, I kind of want to use these scissors because they're so freaking cute. Love them. I think maybe down here at the bottom. Okay. And I usually like to put a little bit of like some stats at the bottom. I don't know why I phrase it like that. I like to put stats at the bottom, like my sales for the week and you know, the number of orders and some stuff like that. So I like to leave a little bit of room there. Let's put these washi tapes layered over this box here. So, so cute. I love these stickers. Let's do these pens. They're a little big. At least, you know, compared to the page. Because I just don't want to leave myself plenty of room to write. Let's put them down here. Cute. And then one of my most favorite things about this sheet is the sticker of stickers from my shop. Let me pull out those stickers. These are supposed to be modeled after um, my functional dots and boxes. So you can see, they're so cute. Um, so I think that's so fun. So I think we should use those. And let's go ahead and put them over here. Alrighty. And then the next biggest one is Happy Mail, which I might have to, might have to forgo. Well, could fit it, because I didn't put too many boxes, only like four boxes and one strip of washi from this book. So there's definitely, I left myself lots of room to put in these stickers, so may as well just go for it. So there we go, it didn't take up too much room, still have room in here to write. And then now I'm left with these little guys. So these are perfect because easy to, you know, put around the page and not take up too much room. So I think these are really cute little stamps. They're colorful. So I'm going to put them over with this box because there's not a lot of color up here. So that's kind of a way to balance a little bit. Let's do some little paper clips them right here they're off to the side they're not taking up room little binder clip so cute um let's see let's do another binder clip here man i think i could use up the whole sheet and i think i might let's go ahead and do it because there's not a lot left so I'd rather use them all in the same spread so they're all, you know, with each other. Okay, a little washi from a different angle. So these are stacked, so just laying, that one's just like laying down flat. Another binder clip, where shall we put it? Maybe down there. Now we've got a little eraser and another paper clip. 
And there we go, voila, a sheet that is done. So satisfying. Okay. Kind of want to put it, hmm, I don't know. I thought there were more paper clips. Huh, maybe I'm forgetting. Hmm. Okay, eraser, eraser, where should we put you? Here's a good spot, not taking up too much room. Okay, I like it. It's a little busy with all the little things, but I think it's gonna be great. I think there's a lot of room still. If anything, I could add little headers, but I don't think that I could find any that are small enough. So I think that's gonna be it for this spread, you guys. I really like, like it, it's so fun. I love the colors. So, so cute. So let me go ahead and put it back in the planner. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Really love it. I think what really was fun and made it was the ruler down the side. I think that was like perfect placement. I love that. All right. There we go, you guys. So remember, I'll link that um, sheet below so you can just go right to it in my um, website. I have a code down there for you as well, just for you guys. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you give me the thumbs up if you like this one and subscribe if you want to see future videos. Tomorrow I'll be doing my classic spread. Um, yeah, and fun things coming on Friday. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.